Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project online car rental. And I have developed this project in Java, JSP and MySQL. For JDK, I'm using JDK 1.8. MySQL version is 5.6. Tomcat version is 7. And But if you have Tomcat version 8 and 9, you can also configure this project on those versions. And uh, this is a web-based application. So for front-end development, I have used HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also I have used like for form validations integration of the date calendars and for many more things i have used the jquery plugins right so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have implemented what are the modules and what are the functionalities available inside this project so the project title is car rental system and it's a web-based mini java gsp and mysql dbms project web-based because it's running on the web mini because it has only an only cache timer login and it's a DBMS because we are performing the database operations, right? So once you run this project, you will get this home page. So you can see this is the home page, right? This is a static home page. There is nothing dynamic on it, right? This is about us page and it's also a static page. And if you want to change the content, you can change it from about.gsp. This is a book a car and this is a dynamic page, right? So here you need to select the uh, pickup date. So I am selecting 30th and 31st. Once you click on the search car, you will be able to see all of the cars which is available in the database, right? So you can book any of the cars. Suppose if I want to book this one, right? So this is the car details, right? Once you click on the book car now, then it will ask your credentials. Without your credentials, you will not be able to book the car because there is a restrictions, there is a validation inside the project. You will not be able to book the car without login. So I will show you later. This is a registration. If you don't have the user ID and password, then you can register from here and you can generate your user ID and password. This is a login from here. You can log in and you can perform certain operations. I, as I told you earlier, this is a customer driven application. I have only customer functionalities are available. This is a contact us page and it's a static contact us page. There is nothing dynamic on it. We are not sending any type of email and SMS from this page. Now I am going to log in as a customer. So the user ID is at the rate gmail.com and password is test once you log inside the system you will get this dashboard right so here you can see book a car my bookings my accounts and contact us page once you click on the book a car you can enter the pickup date and drop off date search car you will be able to see all of the cars once you click on the book your car you will get the details of the car and once you click book now it's asking for your details right here you can add any now anything anything you can add here right so here pick up date you can say this this and anything once you click on the book my car that information will be saved inside the database right i have entered the garbage information you can enter the valid information there right so once you book the car you will be able to see all of the bookings in your my booking session you can see this is the last bookings and you can see the details right and you can see other details also you can see this is what right this is a my account section from here you can update your account details right and you can update your password from here too, right this is a contact us page which i already explained you this is a logout once you click on the logout then you will not be able to access the internal pages for access the internal pages you need to log in again right so you can see this is menus are displaying again. So this is a session event menu and it's coming according to the session. After logout, the menu will be different. After login, the menu will be different because it's getting rendered according to the session level, right? So these are all functionalities I have developed inside this project, car rental system. And as I told you earlier, this is a Java JSP MySQL web-based mini DBMS project. And it has only and only customer login operations, right? If you need major project, then we have car rental system project available with admin and customer both. You can watch our YouTube channel or the website for getting that video functionality. Right? So if you need any enhancement in this project, just put in the comments. We will incorporate the changes. We will make this project more better and better according to your requirements. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.